Welcome back to another overland van camping adventure. My name is Sterling and I'm down here in southern Arizona in the Santa Rita Mountains. And this adventure is unique because it's an unplanned adventure. And I decided why not film this little excursion because I don't really know where I'm going to end up camping. The sun is going to be going down in a little while. I want to get up into these mountains here and find a, a sweet little spot to park the van and camp. It's really important to know about land management and access and rules when you're out traveling in the backcountry. It's good to know what jurisdiction you're under, whether you're on BLM land or national forest land or something else. In this case, this is part of the Coronado National Forest. And I see a lot of signs around here indicating that it's an OHV park, an off-highway vehicle park. And so what that means is that you can take your street legal motorcycles or ATVs or quads or things like that and ride around through this area. There's quite a network of trails around here. So I'm going to stop and air down my tires and head out into the mountains. This looks like a really sweet road. There's mountains off in the distance. The road isn't too hard. I'm looking for some kind of a hilltop with a vista to find a place to camp. This looks promising. I see this really cool hill off in the distance and I imagine once I get to the top of it, there'll be some pretty expansive views and I can catch a good sunset and maybe sunrise in the morning. I think I found the perfect place to camp. This is awesome. I'm parked up on the top of this hill with a 360 degree view of all the Santa Rita mountains and the grasslands and the desert down below me. I don't see anybody else out here today. I'm the only person on these roads, which is pretty awesome. Looking out into the distance, I can see all of the desert and the different sky islands, the mountain ranges down here in this part of Arizona. Over here, you can see that there's still some snow on the north side of these mountains. It's gonna be a really beautiful night. I'm gonna cook up a good meal and then carry on from here tomorrow morning. So let's get camp set up. So I've got my military field table here, and this is actually a new one that I just bought today at the antique store in the town where I live. You can tell it's pretty old. It's had a lot of use, and somebody painted it red once upon a time, but I just thought this would be kind of cool to use in an in a overland van camping adventure, so that's what I'm going to use tonight. So this is just a, a folding bench that I picked up from the camping store and I like it because it's really lightweight, it's simple, it's easy to use, and it seats two people. You know, one of the things that I like about a trip like this is that I just left home this afternoon and I try to keep my van pretty much stocked and ready to go. It's just so easy when you have your kit all set up, you have your vehicle set up, you have the things in it that you need. And the more often that you are able to get out and do a trip like this, even if it's just for a day or two, it keeps all of your equipment organized, it keeps you ready to go, and you're going to be more likely to do it more often. My suggestion is just basically get your get yourself set up as well as you can. Keep your vehicle organized and keep the supplies in there that you know that you might need for cooking and camping and things like that. And then when the moment presents itself, you'll be more likely to go on a, a short adventure like this.
You might notice that I've got a couple of sheepskin covers that I bring with me when it's colder out like this and I I really like I like it a lot because it just it keeps your bottom a lot warmer and it's just so comfortable especially in this kind of colder weather camping. So I just happen to have this one it kind of fits perfectly on this bench so in the winter time here I always put this on the bench and it just makes it so comfortable to sit on. So tonight we're having Thai chicken coconut curry with vegetables. It's going to be so good. I was old, I was young, I was sitting in the sun, I was tired of the run, I was done. Life was great, life was hard. In a way, an awful card You can't win The losing hand But the rain stopped falling And the line on the floor was crawled And the pain I'd been feeling Washed away to return I was cold, I was bold I had fragmented my soul Into pieces contradicting themselves Perhaps it is, as it is How the world is the mess it Means that every heart and soul Needs to be whole And the Signs keep changing as the road stretches out ahead. And the moon keeps on changing. All I want to do is lie down in bed. Glad you guys joined me for this trip. You know, you guys are in a sense my motivation to get out. It really helps me to get out on these kind of adventures and do this because I know that it means something to you guys and hopefully you get something out of it. Maybe you learn a few things or maybe you just enjoy spending some time with me out in the desert, out in these cool wild places. I imagine some of you that are watching right now, it's probably pretty cold and dark and maybe the lockdown in your area doesn't allow you to get out and do these kind of things. But where I live, down here in the desert, there's not a lot of people. And I can basically go on a trip like this without seeing another living soul. I just, I, I have everything I need in my van so I can be out here kind of self-isolating by myself in these hard times. And it's just a real pleasure to bring you guys along on a trip like this. Well, there you have it. Simple, delicious, healthy, and hot. A nice Thai chicken curry out here in the desert. Mmm. Beautiful morning out here in the desert. A little bit cold out this morning, a little breeze blowing, but it's not too bad. It's going to be a really good day today. I'm going to cook some breakfast here in this spot and then pack up the van and continue heading down this road here in the Santa Rita Mountains of southern Arizona. 
just such a nice place to wake up just out here by myself in the desert. Thanks for joining me on this overland van camping adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. If you stuck around this long, why don't you help me out by subscribing to my channel and come back for more. We'll see you next time.